Hello and welcome to the Write-Off Bills or Accounts Receivable Write-Offs video tutorial for EasyLaw. Previously posted accounts receivable or billing entries that have not been paid in full can be written off. Partial or full write-off of bills can be posted. Accounts Receivable Write-Off Entries credit accounts receivable fees and disbursements and debit accounts receivable time and disbursement write-off expense and taxes. If you are writing off the entire amount of a previously posted bill, the write-off amounts will match the original bill. If you are writing off a partial balance of a previously posted bill, the tax write-off amount will be prorated based on the original bill. Click the down arrow beside Create Bills, followed by Write Off Bills to proceed. Enter the date of your write off or press Enter for today's date. Enter the client for which you wish to write off transactions or press F5 to display a list to choose from. A list of transactions available to write off will display. Select the transactions to write off by using your mouse or the Enter key. The description will display automatically as AR write-off, but you can edit this if you choose. Edit or press Enter on the accounts receivable write-off amounts as necessary. Click Save. Accounts receivable write-off fees must be distributed to the correct lawyer. Type A to distribute the fee write-off to the responsible lawyer. Type P to prorate the fee write-off based on the original bill or type M to manually allocate the fee write-off. Continue entering transactions as necessary. You can access the Unposted tab to delete your transactions. You can exit without posting and continue entering transactions at a later time. Click Post to finish. Write-off bills automatically defaults to enter noted above the date field, but you can also reverse previously posted accounts receivable write-off entries. Simply click Reverse, followed by the date and the client number and then select the Accounts Receivable Write-Off Entries to reverse. The entries will display on the screen where you have the option to specify the write-off date or leave the date the same as the original write-off entry and then save the reversal. Thank you for watching the Write-Off Bills video tutorial.